Welcome to this practical session on Internet of Things and Robotics. This session will increase your inclination towards IoT and Robotics and enhance your practical skills. And soon you will be making your innovative projects. We will begin with the very basic experiments and soon we will move on to the advanced experiments. So the aim of this experiment is to blink the LED with the help of an Arduino board. The components required for this experiment are computer system installed with UNO ID software, connecting wires, Arduino board, LED, resistor, power cable. So now we'll quickly look at the theory behind this experiment. So before we begin coding, do these settings in your software. So first go to the tools then there select board and in that select Arduino Uno. Now again go to the tools, select serial port and then select COM4. So whenever you write a program, remember you have to save the file. So we have also saved it. So now coming to the circuit diagram. So now this is my circuit diagram. I have this Arduino Uno board. Now I have a resistor and a LED. LED is a light emitting diode. You can see it from the figure that we have two terminals of LED. So actually LED is a kind of diode only. Diode has two terminal first positive and second negative terminal. So the positive terminal is represented by the longer leg and the negative terminal is represented by the shorter leg. So now I'll connect the resistor, the LED and the ground here. So now here I have plus 5 volt input power supply. So this is my circuit, simple circuit diagram. So this is a very simple experiment and we have a simple circuit diagram for it. Now this is a simple program also. Now in this program I have void setup. So the setup thing runs only once. You should always remember this. Whereas the loop part runs repeatedly. In the setup part, I'll discuss about the input and outputs. So here I am taking the 13 pin as the output pin. So I have connected the LCD to the resistor and it is connected to the 13th pin. So I am taking the 13 as the output pin. Now I have described all the inputs and output. I have just one LED. So I am just taking one output which is at 13. So now the next thing is the loop part. So here I will discuss mainly about the logic of the program. So digital write 13 high. It means 13th pin is high and after that I have a delay of 1000 clocks. After that I will have 13 as low and I, again I will have delay of 1000 clocks and it will again and again keep on repeating in loop. So now the 13th pin would be high for some time and the 13 pin would be low for some time. We can change this time and we can change this time also. So first we have taken this time to be 1000 and after that we have taken it to be 100 and now after that we can change it again or we can take any number of LEDs. So we have a lot of LEDs like green, red, blue etc. So we can also play with them and make some decorative colors as well. So where it is used? It is used in Morse code. First step is to install UNO IDE software and make the required changes as instructed before. Now moving towards hardware implementation. LED has two terminals. Now connect one terminal of the LED to the resistor. Now connect other terminal of the LED to the pin number 13 of the Arduino board. Pin number 13 is programmed to work as output pin. Complete the circuit, connect the other end of the resistor to the ground pin of the Arduino board. Hardware setup is now complete. Now let us move to uploading the code on the Arduino board. After the upload is complete, the LED will start blinking. We can also change the code and decrease the duration of blinking of LED. If we reduce the amount of delay, the LED will start blinking faster. 